is Morris Fox. I'm a new gothic writer and queer artist. Today I'll be showing you how to make a card or a postcard for a loved one or a stranger for that matter using mixed media and collage related to your personal memories and archives. For this activity you'll need glue, scissors or any cutting utensils, a surface that you can cut and glue on as well as some drawing materials and paper or cardstock, this can be reused or new. You will also need some materials to collage with from printed material like magazines and newspapers to scraps of fabric or ribbons, glitter stickers or stamps, anything that you want to use and can be glued to the paper is great. If you're using personal items like photographs, you can scan and print them at home or at the library if you want to keep the originals uh, intact. So I'm going to uh, show you all how to create a postcard and a bookmark. I'm thinking about all the love in my life, uh, especially the queer love. I'm thinking about memories and community and working with archives as well, especially personal archives, what I've kept and the little pieces of odds and ends that accumulate in my life. I'm going to make a postcard to one of my friends who I share lots of great memories with. So I want to make something that is a bit random, but shows how much I care for them. The first step to make the card or is to make the card or find a card that you want to use. A uh, standard postcard measures about four by six inches. Um, you can also take a piece of paper and fold it in half, um, which is about the same size as postcard. Once you have the postcard, we're going to create our image on one side of it. The other side will be left blank, uh, so you can write a nice handwritten uh, letter, or you can look at my first workshop that I did for AGW um, on how to create a found poem and do a collage poem on the reverse side of the postcard, like this. So you're going to start by cutting or tearing pieces of materials, uh, printed materials, and arranging them on the front side of the postcard. Uh, you can draw a picture as a guide for your collage or use a cookie cutter um, or other stencil to make a shape as a frame for your creation. Um, once you're happy with the arrangement, um, you'll be gluing the scraps down uh, using whatever your glue material is. Uh, afterwards, you just wait a couple of hours for the glue to all dry. Um, once it's dry, you can write your message on the reverse side of the card. And once my message is complete, I can now arrange all the other items I want to have on the front of the postcard. Uh, if I can't glue them down, you can use an embroidery uh, thread and a needle to stitch the objects onto the postcard or use a pin. Now that I've completed my card, I'm going to give it a quick spritz with some fragrance so when my friend opens the letter, it's going to smell really good. Scent has this really uh, powerful connection to memory as well. Here we go. 
Hope you enjoyed this uh, workshop. Um, again, here's all of my website and my Instagram. Uh, please feel free to follow me for more interesting things. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs>